gamers, welcome back to another Plutonian Guy Plus video. Uh, today I am here in Big Paintball, and I'm just going to be talking a little bit about, you know, the state of Big Paintball right now. I mean, it's been a very long time since I did a video just on Big Paintball, but I'm still very, very aware of how this game is going, and that is a very big thing. Like, I've still played this game in my off, you know, non-recording time. I, I love this game, but th I've, there's a few problems with it. Namely, um, it does not run very well at all on um, lower two machines. Um, that's the way I'll term it. Uh, like, my computer before, before this one, was just bad. Like, it got maybe 10 FPS on anything above one graphics quality, and that's not a fun experience. So people would just, you know, not play. Because nobody wants to spend thousands and thousands of dollars, or even just a thousand dollars, or 500 if you're going reasonably, just to play Big Paintball. I'm sorry, but Roblox Big Paintball is not that much of a game changer for a lot of people. It's a fun game, and I love it. Um, I've made videos on it for a long time, um, and my most viewed video is on this game, as a matter of fact. But it's definitely not worth building a whole PC over. So, that is one reason. I think it's just too laggy on lower tier computers. Another thing is, there's a lot of people who are just really, really good at this game. And people don't want to play just to get destroyed for, you know, 15, 20 minutes straight, and then get off. People want to play, have fun, get some kills, and then get off. Like, that's just the way we want to play games. Like, nobody wants to get annihilated for the whole time they play. So, there's a lot of sweats. Um, I wouldn't say that they're contributing entirely to, um you know, the downfall of the game, but I would say that they do definitively hold a part in why the game is struggling right now. The game has not collapsed yet, and it probably won't. I don't see that happening anytime soon, but you can definitely tell it's on its way. Concurrent players are lower than I think they've been in a very long time, um, and it's not, again, it's not dying by any sense of the manner, but it's definitely becoming a less and less popular game. Um, another problem I see with it is the pretty much the opposite of the first thing I said in that Higher tier computers have a distinct advantage. Like, obviously, I'm not doing too great right now. I only have 21 kills. But computers with lower latency will have less time where they uh, can't see people. So, like, for example, this guy right there might have just been a few seconds behind me and not have known I was shooting at him until I killed him. And that's a disadvantage for him because he, if he doesn't know I'm shooting at him, how's he supposed to know where I am? If he can't see me because I'm behind a wall on his screen, how's he supposed to kill me? These... these these are problems. These are genuine issues. Because I, I wouldn't say that, again, it's all it's not all Big Paintball's fault. Like, there's not a whole lot they can do about people not having great computers other than optimize the game as best they can, which I feel they haven't really done the best job of. But it's a Roblox game. What do you really want them to do? Um, and then there's just one other problem, and that is this game's progression is really, really, really slow. Like, for example, if you're not very good and one of your star tasks is to get a nuke, you're not really going to get that consistently or fast. Like... I mean, I'm okay at the game. I'll get a nuke every, you know, few games. Like, I played my second game on this computer for a while. Um, it first... That, yes, perfect English. Second game on this computer, and it had been a while, is what I was trying to say. And I got a nuke. Like, I, I'm okay at the game. I'm not a professional or anything, but I'm okay at it, and I got a nuke. But people who aren't that good are going to struggle. Things like that. Like, there needs to be other ways to level up. They, you know, it just it shouldn't exclusively be that you have to get nukes or 10 long shots. Like, 10 long shots, that's not hard, but it's not something people are going to go out of their way to do. Like, nobody's just going to whip out the sniper just because, oh, I should get 10 long shots. Like, nobody does that. People are going to play the game they want to play, not the game that, you know, the game is telling them to play. Like, nobody, nobody goes for these quests unless they're specifically trying to level up, which, if you're trying to do that, good for you. Like, that's a fun way to play. I've done that myself. It's, it's very fun. But, you know, it's whatever. And, like... Uh, another thing is, I, I know I said that was the last one, but it's not, because I just thought of it. Guns are just, there's too much pay to win. Like, the Dark Matter gun. Nobody can reasonably save up credits long enough to just get it. Like, I have the Golden Gun. I spent real life money on that. I don't regret it. It's a fun gun, and I got a video out of it. So, it's not like the dumbest thing I've ever done. But nobody is going to go and take... The days out of their life to get the Dark Matter gun in Roblox Big Paintball. It's just not worth it, ladies and gentlemen, and that was the best shooting you've ever seen. I, it's, it's just... So, it's things like that. Like, obviously you want high-tier guns, but make the high-tier guns good, but also not, like, overpowered like the Dark Matter gun, and also not just, like, insanely expensive like the Dark Matter gun. There do need to be, you know, good guns that are affordable. Like, this SCAR is a perfect example. This is probably my favorite gun in the game, and it was only 200,000 credits. I know that 200,000 sounds like a lot, but once you've been playing for a little while, you'll figure it out, you know, just the game in general. 
shouldn't become too much at all. Uh, I get that uh, every few games. I won't say consistently, like I'm getting like 50k, but I've had games where I get around 50,000. Um, and you know, if you want to know how to make credits fast, I'll go ahead and toot my own whore here. I have two videos on that. Um, they're two of my better performing videos on my channel, um, and you know, they work. Uh, they have s pretty reliable methods, at least the comments seem to think so, so I'm not going to argue with them, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, they are, you know, they're telling me I did something right, and I'm not mad at that. Okay, list a century already. There we go. Alright, so, ladies and gentlemen, um, those are really, you know, my only thoughts. I'm going to have to finish out this game here because I want to, you know, I want to win because winning is fun. Um, if you don't like winning, uh, you're a very humble person, and I respect you for that, but, um, you probably also have a bit of a tinge of deceit because everyone likes to win on some level. So, you know, it's whatever, ladies and gentlemen. I just got annihilated. And we're going to go to this paintbrush gun because it's fun. It's free. Video about it, too. Uh, it's no longer available, I don't think. Uh, but uh, I have it. And um, they are pushing for a new uh, free gun, I believe, uh, last I saw. Um, and so, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, um, yeah, I mean... I don't have a whole lot to talk about other than this gameplay. I'm not getting a nuke in this round because there's just no way. Like spawn shields, those are kind of annoying, but it's not like a huge reason why the game is like losing players. I think it's just, you know, the reasons I said. There's probably some others as well uh, that I didn't get to mention. Um, but I feel like those are the main reasons what I said. You know, just too many good players, you know, the hardware like issues where it doesn't run very well on unless you have like a super good PC. Latency is an issue, obviously. There's just lots of issues that could, could be fixed. Like, I'm not saying it's just an impossible game to fix, but it would take time, like, lots of time. And I don't think big games, the developers, are really looking to do that much more with the game. Obviously, they want to update it and keep people playing, but I don't think they're looking to, like, revamp the whole thing. Like, obviously, as, as, as games get older, it becomes harder to do because the code gets more and more out of date, and just nobody wants that. Nobody wants an out-of-date game. They, they want a game they can play right now and have a fun experience on. They just... It, it's just the way it is, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, that's going to be the video. Um, I got first place. Let's go. Um, but if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace!